Hey, this is David from Dash Off-Road and I love doing reviews on camping stuff which is going to get your family out to places like this. This little camp is called the Lumberjack She Oak. Little hybrid pod style camper trailer. You can fit two inside, and if you wanted to, you could put a rooftop tent on there and have four. So, a potential family getaway machine. Let's talk about this little baby a bit. 850 kilos tear, 1250 um, gross. So, you can fit 450 kilos worth of stuff in it. 65 litre um, water tank pump, kitchen at the back, double bed inside, big storage at the front. It's got a lot going for it already. Awning on this side. It's the type of thing you can hook up and take pretty much anywhere that your car can go. There's one reason for this weekend alone where this has really shined amongst anything else I could have brought here and I'll show you why. This weekend it absolutely came down in buckets. The heavens opened up and it was a swimming pool. Being off the ground um, in an insulated little cell, uh, it didn't ruin my weekend because it was very wet. If I was in a tent or a soft floor camper, it would have been game over, pack up, go home. This is what she looks like inside. So there's a door on both sides. TV, this one's got a little fan built into it. Control panel up the top, radio with speakers, good lighting inside. Sitting inside, the cool stuff. Um, probably my favorite thing inside here, because you know we spend heaps of time, but it's the vents. Uh, so there's a powered, like, like computer fans. We've got one up the top here, and another one down here. And because like, I'm up in Queensland at the moment, it's quite stuffy and humid. Just having those vents on, they don't use much power at all. I pretty much had them running the whole time just to keep the like smells and humidity out of the van. Very cool feature. I must say, I didn't really use the, the TV or stereo. Um, there's a 100 amp hour battery in here, which is all managed up here. That has been fantastic. Uh, I've been charging camera gear, drones, all sorts of stuff. And that's lasted all weekend. So battery is fantastic. Storage though, as far as storage inside, there's just this one cupboard. Um, open that up for you. So of course there's not much in here at the moment, but I would probably put shelves in here so I could just have enough for what I need inside. Other than that, you know, it's a small space. The bed's fine. It's probably similar to a swag bed. Uh, maybe a little bit better than what you'd get in your swag. Um, it's it's simple and easy. Zero setup. If it's raining, you rock up to camp, you jump in, you go to bed. Next, if I owned this hybrid camper, I would change the awning straight away to a 270 awning, and that would give you so much more coverage, and I'd have it coming around the front over the toolbox, because you end up leaving it open like this, and when it buckets down um, rain can get in there it'd be nice to go and get a drink out and not get wet that's what i'll do first up next i think this is probably best suited to a single person that just wants to get away for a weekend a family again for a weekend it's not really for extended stays because you can't hold enough water or enough luggage to do like a week-long trip in it but if you were going to go do border track or just want to go fishing down on the beach um, get a little bit more adventurous of what you can't do with a caravan, perfect. But you might do, say, three nights in this, stop into a caravan park, top up everything, and then go again. That's my view. Which brings me to this kitchen. So, it's got a four burner stove. That's fantastic. But I don't know if I'd... I, I would trade this out for a barbecue or something else, quick smart. A um, couple of other little things. Like, the, the sink here, it's got the tap, but to turn it on, you've got to press the button on this side. 
and then come over and engage the, the tap. Um, I put the button there, just little things. As I was saying, it's difficult to get to your pantry cupboard, like you can't get to that one, you can't get to, well, you can get to one side only. Um, that'd be a really good size pantry, by the way. But you can't get to anything else. I would actually get rid of all of this. I would have a single drawer fridge, like the Dometic um, drawer fridge that pulls out, and I'd probably just have like a Weber or Ziggy barbecue in here. And that would get me everything I need for the weekend. So yeah, if I owned this, this would come out, I'd say. This is the configuration I've had it in most of the weekend. Great bench top for preparing food and everything. Um, I can get to all the drawers if I need to. Cupboards. Um, these have been really cool just as a storage idea. So that's where a lot of things have been just sitting throughout the weekend. Gas bottle on the side. That's very cool and it's in a good position. But the regulator that comes around <laughs> doesn't quite reach. Needs to be... 20 centimeters longer and that would solve that problem and the water this is actually quite clever on here so the water tank um, connects in and goes up to the tap there that's cool now whenever I do these sorts of reviews I've got to give the manufacturer the benefit of the doubt here because um, often there's options and things that you can change or um, they're working on for the next model which they're probably already gonna fix the things that I'm talking about anyway so um, speak to them see what they say I guess if I had the ultimate one, I'll just make it a fraction wider um, and a fraction bigger inside. Just not much, just a little bit, just so I could get a little bit more stuff in there and so I could fit. I'm six foot tall, so if you're thinking about buying one of these, basically if I was the sales guy, I'd line them up under here. If you fit under the hatch, we can keep talking about it. If you don't, you're not going to fit in the bed anyway. <laughs> If I was in the market for one of these, which I kind of am actually, I would totally consider this Lumberjack she -oak. Uh It will go anywhere where my car will go. I can tow it easily. I wouldn't even know it's there, to be honest. It tracks about the same width as the car, if any, maybe just slightly wider. Uh, it's, a, it's a cracker and they're very well priced. So um, yeah, get on it, go check out she -oak. I own them big time because this weekend I would be very soggy and uncomfortable if I was in my one-man hiking tent uh, but instead I slept in absolute comfort in a shio so thanks for that over and out see you next time on dash off road big Land Cruiser Mountain Park series about to come out so have a look at that one too